Hello Logic Pro users, it's Arno back again with a new tutorial. In this one we're going to talk about skins and what are the difference with the colorizer teams and how to import them inside colorizer. So before colorizer was uh, released, people were already doing some customization and uh, <laughs> was myself also doing uh, customization to some extent. And to do that, you have to make the changes directly from the source folder of Logic Pro, which is kind of painful, but when you grasp the concept, it can be more straightforward. Uh, it's just, it takes time, right? It is long and not really intuitive. It was very clear to me that this uh, application would be a great solution for people who like to change the interface of Logic Pro and having the color thumbnail, being able to batch colorize, you know, batch change values in one go and also make these files smaller. So I've downloaded the skin and from colorizer, what I'm going to do is import skin from the file menu and you have to open that folder and select the resource folder. Now, when you apply a theme, you have to make a backup of your original logic, otherwise you will lose the original look of logic. So you always have to make this backup very important. With the colorizer, it's a bit different. Uh, it's automatically going to back it up for you. It's always going to be available from the default team of colorizer. So you just don't think about this, import your skin. So now let's say I want to make some changes. On the overall, I like the, the 10.2 skin look, but I want to change those FX button. I don't like them that much. What I would do is go to the mixer. Sorry, I was in color search mode. I'm going to type in mixer, audio FX and software instruments. And as you can see, these elements don't show any color thumbnail. The reason is that colorizer doesn't know the color of them because they are images, right? It can read for these type of elements which are in the list that have been imported, but it can't like read uh, at the moment, at least the images imported from skins. And if you click that plus button, then you unlock these images. And if you unlock these images, it means these images are going to be replaced by the one from colorizer, which are corresponding to the new version of Logic, right? So it's going to look flatter, but I prefer that. So I want to change them anyway. So I'm going to, okay, let's keep the symbols white and I'm going to make a uh, bright blue and colorize. And there you have these flat icons now. Actually, I've made a boo-boo. I assigned the same color font on and off, so you can't tell the difference. <laughs> um, sorry, let me just correct that. Seems like it should be something gray. Okay. Colorize. Okay, and now I have my bright flat buttons available. All right. I honestly would change also the pan button and the faders but that's personal. So this is how you can import skins. Now, whatever the change you make, there is always a backup of this original skin you imported that's available and retrievable. For that, you need to go to Finder and open your library folder, then application support, LPX colorizer, teams, then you see you have all these LPXT files, which are your team files, and you have a skin folder. Inside your skin folder, you will find this newly imported skin, right? Now, let's say you have made some changes and you're not very happy about them. Then I suggest that you rename this skin. And import again the original skin, right? Or you can just delete it if you're sure you don't want to use it again and re-import your original skin. That's it for skins import. This function allows you to modify skins that have been made available from other designers and benefit from the colorizer functions. See you very soon. Bye-bye.